back. Thanks for watching tonight in San Diego. Our live studio audience is going to win prizes like this. We're giving away two tickets to see Kevin Fowler at the Music Box. If you want to win prizes like this, check us out on tonightinsandiego.com. Our musical guest tonight is with the band Jazz Camp. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lexi Polito. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Lexi. Thank you for coming on. I uh, hope you didn't. Of course. See, did you see that wolf back there? Oh, yeah. I'm actually allergic to dogs, so I had, was struggling You're a bit. <laughs> I, had to, I had to leave the room. I was like, oh. Are you allergic to wolves? That's the question. That, yes, yeah, so that's what you I are, found out. I'm allergic are, to dogs and wolves. Dogs and wolves. OK, so don't sue us, is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, well, it's, told it's wonderful to have you on the show, and I, I know you're going to come out and perform with, with the whole band. You have a band, Jazz Camp, yes. correct? Yes. How did you how did you come up with the, the name Jazz Camp? First well, of all? I was in Jazz Camp last year. Okay. Had a performance with some guys from Jazz Camp and labeled the video Jazz Camp with Lexi Plito, and I was like, that's kind of nice. <laughs> so kept it going. Kept it going. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if so it could have any camp. It could have been Fat Camp. It could have been any camp. Like when I go, my band is called Fat Camp, but it's a different band. <laughs> It's a, um, I mean, camp is a nice it is, end yeah. to a band name. I like it. Definitely. So how did you get started? How did you realize that you were supposed to be a musician? You know, it's hard to know your, your, your place in life, right? But you, you learned at an early age, right, that you were supposed to sing. Yeah, you know, I, I always got this story growing up as a kid that um, when I was a toddler, I, would, I was riding in the back of a car with my family. My dad was in the front seat and my mom was in the passenger seat. And um, my dad went to turn the radio down, and it wouldn't turn off, it wouldn't go up or down, and, and they found out it was just me singing. <laughs> he, th he thought you were the radio? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But then he turned it down? And then, <laughs> that's not good, Well, right? I mean, it was, I, He's sure like, what is this? Turn it it's down. It's always been very loud, and that's been a problem growing up throughout the years, is singing is a loud thing. Mm -hmm. I would get no singing at the table. Oh, really? No singing at the so you're really rebelling mall. against your parents, is what you're doing. <laughs> this is to get back at mom and dad, is what we're doing. Oh yeah, they, I was supposed to be an engineering major. <laughs> Whoops. Guess they should have sent you to Sorry. engineer camp. Then everything would have been different. So, <laughs> I know you got started in, in open mics. Now, I, I do stand-up comedy, so I know what open mics are like for comedians, uh, which is just performing for five other comics that hate you. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I <laughs> and there they are, those comedians. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that open mic for musicians is different and more supportive, hopefully, than that? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, there was quite a community surrounding the open mics when I first entered. Uh, was that in San Diego that you got started doing open mics? Yes, okay. yes, Lestat's okay, open great. mic on Adams Avenue. Lestat's, I've, I've actually done comedy there. That is the weirdest thing to do comedy in between music, by the way. Yeah. It doesn't work. They, are, they like really, maybe Super if I'd serious. sung the jokes, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, it can be very expressive at the open mics, so everyone's really open-minded. Uh, lots of acts, lots of different styles of music, so there's no judgment, and it's really open. <laughs> so, it's, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good place to get started in music. In, in San, San Diego's a good town for yeah. a lot of music. And yeah. I wasn't that bad, so people took to me, and I made a lot of friends. Your dad wasn't in the audience like, turn it down! <laughs> <laughs> Here, is that the radio again? <laughs> So you have a big gig coming up uh, right now. You're at the Del Mar Fair, right? I you're am. performing at Del Mar Fair. Yeah, I'm, I have a group called Brisa Suave. Uh, cool. we're, woo! That's nice. Yes. <laughs> Brisa. It's a bit of a corny name, I guess, but. Um, Does that do. translate to jazz camp? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's a different band altogether. This is the Brazilian. This yeah. Is the Brazilian so band. yeah, it's Brazilian music. Um, it's the same Portuguese and Spanish. We have. Uh, I, we do covers, really, okay. so it's going to be me and Brazilian another... covers? Yes. So okay. I sing in Portuguese oh, uh, cool. when I do that. But tonight you're doing original music in English. Tonight is a totally English. different thing. Yeah, okay. I do a bunch of stuff, so... So we just have to believe you that you, you do that. You just have to, yeah. You can come. We'll have I mean, to come check her out Wednesday, at the Del Mar Fair. Any Wednesday at the Del Mar Fair from 5.30 to 7.30 on the stage that's by the track. I don't know what it's called. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll come see you there. And, and we're going to see her right now performing. Also, where can they find you? You have a website or something they could see you on? Yes, you can find me at lexipluto.com. Okay, fantastic. Can you say that again? I don't know if Yes, so that. you can find me at lexipluto.com. L E X I P U L I D O. Punta com. Punta com. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with Lexi Polito performing live here on the Tonight San Diego stage. Stick around.